In this section, we will talk about reverse route and split horizon in distance vector routing protocols. As you know, with distance vector routing protocols, after all the routers are in stabilized state, they will wait until the next update interval to send their entire tables to their neighbors. Now let's look at router 3. As you can see, router 3 learned the route 10.1.5.0 from router 4. However, in its next update, it will send entire table to router 4. Router 4 will learn all the routes and will eventually discuss the route 10.1.5.0 because it knows that it is its own route. The process at which a route pointing back to the router from which package were received is called reverse route. As you can recognize, reverse route not only waste of resources but also causing a huge problem in the network, which is routing loop. Let's look at router 4. Its network 10.1.5.0 now went offline. Router 4 will mark the route 10.1.5.0 in its route table as unreachable and it is about to notify router 3. However, it received the update from router 3 right before it can send the update. Router 4 will learn the route 10.1.5.0 as it is reachable via router 3. Now there comes a packet to the network 10.1.5.0 and cause the routing loop between router 3 and router 4. Split horizon can solve this problem as it is a technique for preventing reverse routes between two routers. There are two categories of split horizon. Let's look at the first one, simple split horizon. The simple split horizon rule states that when sending the updates out a particular interface do not include the networks that were learned from the updates received on that interface. To better understanding of the rule, let's look at router 3 route table. As you can see, router 3 will learn the update for the uh, route 10.1.4.0 and 10.1.5.0 from router 4. So when it send the update to router 4, it first will mark that two routes as to exclude them out of the update and then send the update to router 4. That's why router 4 can only learn about only the three routes over here. Let's look at the second category of split horizon, which is split 
horizon with poison reversed. The split horizon with poison reverse rule states that when sending the updates out a particular interface, design it any networks that were learned from the updates received on that interface as unreachable. To better understanding the rule, let's look at router 3. Before sending the update to router 4, router 3 will first mark the route 10.1.4.0 as infinite and 10.1.5.0 as infinite. Then it sends the update to router 4. Delta 4 will learn all the routes from router 3 and will for sure discuss the two routes 10.1.4.0 and 10.1.5.0 because they are unreachable. This will help with the case when router 4's database got corrupted and it somehow learned that the route 10.1.4.0 is reachable via router 3. With simple split horizon, in will, it will not be able to do anything since the route 10.1.4.0 is excluded. However, with split horizon with poison reserved, the route 10.1.4.0 will be learned again in the next update and the router 4 will be able to make the correction. For this reason, most modern distant vector implement to use split horizon with poison reversed.